These are the respiratory effects of inhaled anesthetics. They actually increase your respiratory rate in a dose-dependent manner. For isoflurane specifically, you get no further increase in respiratory rate above one MAC. They decrease your tidal volume in a dose-dependent manner. They cause bronchodilation. This is through direct reduction in smooth muscle tone and indirect inhibition of your reflex neural pathways. They have a ventilatory response as well. They blunt your response to hypercarbia and blunt your response to hypoxia. They also decrease your functional residual capacity and they overall have a minimal effect on your minute ventilation because they increase the rate and they, sorry, they increase the rate and they decrease the tidal volume. Remember that your minute ventilation is the product of your tidal volume and your respiratory rate. So if one goes up and one goes down, you'll have a minimal effect on your minute ventilation. Some can cause airway irritation. Desflurane and isoflurane are particularly pungent, whereas sevoflurane and nitrous oxide are better tolerated. All of these effects are generally dose-dependent, meaning they are more pronounced at higher concentrations.